King Shark? I don't want to eat my coworkers. I'm better. Polka dot man? I mean, like, he throws polka dots. Like, you know, like... It's actually kind of cool. Superman? Isn't his cape, like, the blanket when he was a baby? Big man can't fight without his blanket. Don't make me laugh. Clearly better. Aquaman. Oh, okay, I'm just gonna say it. Dude looks like he lifts. And making gains underwater? It's gotta be tough. Mad respect. Polka dot man? I mean, like, he throws polka dots. Like, you know, like... It's actually kind of cool. In the Suicide Squad, you brought to life so many different characters, but what was it about Peacemaker that made you say, okay, I want to continue this guy's story? I mean, I think it was a lot of things. I mean, I think, number one, I really got along with John Cena. We became really good friends. He's a funny guy, and um, I thought it would be fun to continue working with him. I also think that, you know, a lot of the other characters that we dealt with in Suicide Squad, we saw big changes from him. Ratcatcher 2 changed a lot. Bloodsport changed a lot. Polka Dot Man changed a lot. But Peacemaker kind of remain, remained, you know, the unrepentant SOB that he was at the beginning of the movie. And I knew that there was a lot deeper to go with the character. John and I had talked a lot about where the character came from, who he was, who his father was, and all of these things that we didn't really get to see in the movie. So I knew that there was a lot more story there to ex explore. Stay where you are, Smith. Peacemaker, you can call me Chris. Just because you're handsome doesn't mean you're not a piece of shit. Think I'm handsome? Oh my god. Okay. God damn it, Nanawe. No! Quit being a play, baby. Peacemaker! It's actually very nice. Just put it against the wall. It looks nothing like me. Oh, move it. Thank you.